Okay, hi Ange, I thought I'd make another video for you. Um, okay, so first picture, I'm gonna show you this cute picture. Look at that, isn't that awesome? So Angie's right in the middle. And um, notice the fashionable suits of Travis and a little bit of Alan you can see in that. And then I'm the baby there. So there's Angie right in the middle. My sister Angie, if you, um, this is the first video you've seen on here, is fighting stage four lung cancer and um, she's in California and I'm here in Utah and I love her and I miss her and I wish I could do something for her every day and this isn't much but I just thought I could share with her some healthy recipes and different ideas maybe just to help her feel good and help her body to fight the cancer better and so that she can she can beat this thing and she's doing great she's um, just ran a 5k with her girls and she's ran forever back in high school she did cross country and marathons and she hasn't felt good enough to run in a long time and so um, I think she did that more for her girls but I'm proud of her for doing that and glad she felt well enough to do it just don't wear yourself out don't do too much so I thought I'd this is real quick just show you a good salad dressing recipe you don't want to buy commercial salad dressings there's just full of preservatives sugars some of them have the wrong kinds of fats in them and they're full of things that let them sit on a shelf forever without going bad. And it's not hard to make and they're so much better. So I do, I don't always follow the recipe, but I'll post one today of what I'm doing. I make my dressings all the time. I never buy them. And my kids at first didn't like, like the vinegary type dressings, but they love them now. So just keep trying them with your kids and, and get them off of ranch. And you can, you can get them to just love some of these salad dressings. So this one's um, like a, a honey Dijon dressing. And I have a really good balsamic one. I'll do a video. It's pretty similar though. Most of them have close to the same ingredients. So I'll start off quick. So with a fourth a cup of good filtered water. And I'll put that in. And then you put a, a fourth a cup of um, mustard. And I buy, I mean, I, it doesn't matter too much. This one is Trader Joe's organic yellow mustard. And then you have a, about two tablespoons of raw apple cider vinegar. I actually buy mine in bulk, so I put it in my jars. But, um, and you can do that on like your co-op if you can find a co-op. But otherwise, use Bragg's raw apple cider vinegar. That's a great brand. You can find it anywhere. Okay, so this is two tablespoons. I'm just gonna, it really, honestly, when you taste these, I know some people hate cooking that way. I used to hate my mom would say, just add a little until it tastes good. But really, that's kind of how it is with this. But I will put the exact measurements of the, the recipe down. And But you know, you can play with it a little bit. So two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of olive oil. And then I'm going to put one clove of garlic in, and I just put a whole clove because I'm using my Vitamix. And I actually buy the cloves in the big bags already taken off the, the peel, and they're, and I just take them in my freezer. So, you know, it's a big bag of them. They don't go bad that way, and you can always use them. And I use them a lot for salad dressings and cooking. So that is um, one clove of garlic, and then two tablespoons of raw honey, and you if you can get local raw honey, that's even better. This one, I ran out of my local honey and i um, looking forward to farmer's markets coming soon. So this is actually just the Trader Joe's organic raw honey. So you can get it, but it's better. If you can find honey that's local, then it will help you with your allergies. And, um, you know, because it gets whatever allergies in the air in your area in their honey and um, it'll actually help your body fight that. So that's kind of a cool thing with honey. And then I'm using one drop, and you've got to be careful when you use doTERRA oils for cooking. I actually like it better with fresh ginger. I'm just out. But normally I keep pieces of ginger in my freezer in a little Ziploc bag, and you can just grate it or throw a piece in it. And I do like it better with that. But I'm out of ginger, and I just you just want, like I said, you don't want to go overboard because um, one drop goes a long ways and you don't want it to be too if it's too much you know if you have oil you can always just add some more olive oil some more just make a bigger batch of dressing okay so this is a pretty small batch and now the I'm gonna blend that up and depending on how thick it is you just add more water if it's like really thick then that's all you can add more water more apple cider vinegar and more olive oil those are like the three things so I'm gonna hurry and just blend this up
Perfect. Now that, honestly, you could double that, triple that, because usually I make enough that I put it in here and I have it for like the week. But that is so much better for you than buying a salad dressing with all kinds of toxic things in it. And just to show you, this is my lunch today. And I honestly do this like almost every day. I don't know if I should be proud of that. So I have a huge bowl myself. I love the chomp and chew. And this is like one head of um, the romaine lettuce hearts that I buy at Costco, some mushrooms, some cilantro, some cucumbers, some avocado, and then I'll put some good dressing on it. And sometimes I put a couple of um, grass-fed pastured eggs or something like that on the top. I like with the yolks a little bit runny, so that's really good too. So um, anyways, that's my lunch for today. Hope you like it. Also, if you want to donate to Angie's Fund, it's GoFundMe, Angie Eller. GoFundMe.com, Angie Eller. And anything would be fantastic. She's a hardworking lady, and we don't want her to have to go back to work any sooner than she has to. And she has three kids and a husband that she supports. So if anyone can help, that would be awesome. Okay, love you, sister. Bye-bye.